Cockrington, the place I was born in over 70 years ago. I've lived here more or less ever since. It would have been interesting to have had a video in those days to compare with today and see the changes that have occurred in this time. So perhaps you might be interested in my commentary. If I refer to my youth from time to time, if it were to compare with 70 years ago, and perhaps if this video should be seen in another 70 years' time, it may add even more interest to it. This is Pockington taken from the top of Killick Hill. There are seven entrances into Bockington. It's my intention to go into Bockington from each direction, talking and seeing the interesting things that may be on these roads. There is Bockington right down at the bottom between the trees at the foot of the Yorkshire Wall. So we'll start with the entrance to Cocklington from Killick Road. One of the things developed on this road is Wallgate School. My daughter was one of the first pupils there at 11 years old when it was first opened. She's now 46, so you can work out that one just how much how old the school is. Since its first opening, it has been extended and enlarged to a very great degree. Further along the road we come to the Oval, where I now live. It's an expensive state, a state in itself and runs into even a bigger one in the road, old road beyond. On the other side of the road there is Denison Road, yet another large housing estate, originally a councillor estate, but like most of the Oval and Denison Road are becoming owner-occupied. Here we have a glimpse down Percy Road. I remember it well when it was just open fields. is Percy Road. This is Lindhurst. This was the exception. It used to be the last house of the town in this direction. A private house originally and purchased and developed as an annex to the Pocklington Grammar School. Now returned to private use as a creche. Old boys remember, may remember this wing. That is the front rather. Fine fascia at the front.
this wing, the boys may remember there's classrooms and dormitories above, along with others now no longer in use. So the road goes down into the town. We will pick up this road later on when we do the inner circle of the town. This is the entrance from the mile. And all that is a very recent development. The houses on the right. Your picture now are among the very first estate to be built around the town, known as Algarve. And behind these now is a very big estate indeed. This was developed by Mrs. Allison's mainly. many years ago. That is a glimpse of the council school that was. This is Maxwell Road. The little road to a few houses at one time. But now it is the road to two new schools. There was a small Catholic school and a Seabury school and a council school in those days. They were here before. The new Catholic and primary school have been built and here we see them. Shot taken from the of the end of Maxwell Road again looking at the schools. I must apologise for the scene's been a little bit lopsided as a result of using a fixed tripod on the sloping ground. There is the road going back into town which 
we could join up later on from the other end. My father used to have an allotment through that gate on the right hand side. That is many, many years ago when I was a little boy. And there is the what used to be the council school. And so across Garth Ends. This is another entrance into Bucklington from Yapham Road. This is the outside edge of another vast estate, Sherbet Gate. Even I can get lost in here. Behind there is a bungalow which used to be a large house called the Red House. This, unfortunately in more time, a plane, one of our own aircraft, dropped on that building and demolished it. And that is the bungalow that was built in its place. Several people were killed that night, regret to say. But all this has been developed since then. view down into town again as if you were coming in from the mile. That is George Street. This is Sherbet Gate Drive, the one of the entrances into Sherbet Gate Estate. There are now three. And so we go along to Palmby Road. This is an entrance from 1079 uh, coming in from the York side. And just take this glimpse, this is the other side of Sherbet Gate. You may be able to see the extent to which this estate has been developed. As I say, even I don't know my way around there now, it's so vast. That is the entrance to Sherbet Gate from Barnby Road. The roads are separated by a south addition at the end of the name. Now we look over and as lorry's got past what used to be the old railway crossing. The railway used to cross the road right on that corner where those vehicles are just turning. And 
and a look down the entrance into Bucklington, Bambi Road. In the corner of this road we have this health centre. Much amusement is being caused by a comedian saying that uh, if you give a fortnight's notice you can be ill. <laughs> but this is far from the truth. This is run very efficiently by a very fine set of doctors and have looked after the welfare of the Pucklington town very, very well indeed over the years. And it, uh, it's been a wonderful service that has been given by these people, much appreciated by all in the town. This is a garage and what well, it's a forecourt really, a petrol station. It stands where the old fox and fig garage used to be. Which goes back right to my childhood days. And there we have a further look down into town. And here is the entrance from the 1079, better known as the Green, which comes in past the airfield. This was a Bomber Command aerodrome during the war. Uh, now closed, of course, but has been extensively used by the Leeds Gliding Club. Normally, there would be aircraft all over this field. Just as it happens on the day I took this, and that is about all there was available. However, I did manage to get a take-off. And there it is. Showing fine weather, nice time. This is going on all the time. Plus, others being towed off by um, powered aircraft. up in the sky. Now it is a fact that what goes up must come down so the connection must soon be severed and uh, there goes the ball plummeting back to earth again. I once bought an old car that was used for that job and the roof and the bonnet and the boat at the back were dinted always by that thing coming down and dropping on it. Now there is a tennis club in Pocklington, been on the go for many, many years. Now unfortunately at this particular time it's been a very wet and the, the road had got rather uh, bad to negotiate, shall I say. And so uh, I didn't proceed down but there are some very nice courts there and quite a thriving club. There you get a view of the green, one of the prettiest entrances into Pocklington. Complete avenue of trees. Looks beautiful in the uh, better weather. And uh, this is where we used to play as, as kiddies, better known as the Mill Dam or Nettle Park, now occupied by. Uh, set of ducks and it would appear that um, they can cause a problem to start of putting a Belisha crossing up there to let them cross in safety. Another big development of the, this area of the town um, a 
and these fields that they used to be all open. These houses have been built very recently. In fact, if you look carefully, there's some still on the ground being built. And here we have the grammar school. Now, this stone had been forgotten, but having worked there all my life, I remembered it. And with the help of the gardeners and the uh, secretary, we unearthed this stone. It was the original stone of the Dolman House, or, um, the originator of the school. And this is the frontage, as it is today. During the war, a bomb dropped on this uh, section and through the window you can see there a piece of shrapnel went the full length and all the boys were in their beds. Went through a mirror at the other end and that mirror is still on the wall. Broken of course. I must apologise for that little bit of commentary because it didn't quite correct. The, um, the dormitory windows that you can see now just through the trees is the one where the shackle went through. I don't beg your pardon. That is the assembly hall. One of the first big structures that was started with the extension of the school. Chemistry labs and so forth were all built uh, in my day. I remember them well. There is the modern version of the stone which um, I showed you earlier. There is a view into the town over what used to be the old railway crossing. If you'll excuse me having a bit of nostalgia now, the window of the house on your right is the room where I was born in and my daughter also was born in the same room. This area holds great memories for me. The church is still there looking down on it all.